Hey you guys, what's up? Dan Elias back again doing another video on my custom. Whoa. On my custom. Whoa. Steady cruising down the 105. Sun beating on my skin, it's the summertime. We all kids with no guidance, so we running wild. Looking for ways to get fast money, homie. Fuck a job. Ain't no time to punch my name in on the clock. That's probably what happened. Hey, you guys, what's up? Danny Lee is back again doing another video on my custom Punisher. And to start off, guys, uh, I know you guys are probably wondering, you know, why are you making another, uh, you know, video of this guy? Didn't you already, you know, finish making him? And to be honest, no. Uh, the. The past review, it felt like it was unfinished, the figure, now looking back at it. I deleted the older video, and this guy definitely deserved like an update, as you could say. And um, yeah, I greatly improved this guy, and he looks a lot better than he did before. And um, yeah, and yeah, I'm back in the swing of things and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to show you guys uh, this figure again. And um, yeah, we're just going to take a, a look at his accessories, and then we'll take a closer look at this figure. Alright you guys, here's Punisher's first accessory and it is the AK-47 that came with the Thunderbolts Punisher. Um, pretty cool. Um, a cool thing that you can do with this, you can get the uh, muzzle flash effect that came with the Figma Snake and just put it on here. You just gotta find the right place and there you go, it like stays on there which is really really cool. Um, pretty awesome man, I, it's cool that I uh, figured that out. But yeah, awesome. And here is his M4. Um, loads of detail on this gun. Uh, really don't know where uh, this uh, gun comes from or what figure it came with. Uh, just bought this at a swap meet for a dollar. You know, has a functional ACOG sight thing, which is really cool. Um, not a bad deal. Um, picked it up a while ago. So, yeah, this is going to be Punisher's main weapon, which is awesome. And um, here is just a regular Glock, you know, Marvel Legends silver Glock. So, I think this came with the Thunderbolts Punisher, if memory serves. But, yeah, you could just store it. Or I can store it in here, um, but um, yeah, pretty cool, just just like so. Uh, so these are not really accessories, but just a comparison to the different head sculpts. This was the original one I had on him. Uh, this is from the Thunderbolts Punisher, and this one's the Series Four Punisher. So yeah, this one's so much better. It has uh, dropped it, but it has way better detail. Um, the five o'clock shadow is really nice on him, like the scars and overall the sculpt on the head is just way better than this guy. This one's really plain, so yeah, I really don't care about the Thunderbolts one anymore. And um, yeah, I did have to shave down the the neck hole or whatever, or the you know the place in here, um, so it could fit. It doesn't really fit snug. It just it's just really really wobbly in there. It just kind of sits there, but it's still better than than having this one on there to be honest. So yeah, I really like this one a lot better. Alright you guys, onto the figure itself, and he is looking absolutely badass, um, really cool, I liked it so much better than it, than it did before, the past one looked kind of ugly to be honest, it looked unfinished, and this one looks so much better than it did uh, before, and um, yeah, just really happy to show, show it off to you guys, and yeah, basically the, the, the body, uh, the base body mold of this guy is the Winter Soldier, you know, from the Captain America, you know, uh, series of figures back in, I think, a year or two ago but um yeah really cool uh uh body mold um really uh good for like a tactical you know type of guy or like a swat looking kind of guy really cool really fits punisher to be honest kind of like a little modern style of punisher not really all classic looking with the white gloves and the white boots you know to be honest in my opinion it looks kind of goofy so i came with a little bit more of a, like an actual realistic um, approach on this figure and yeah it came out really good you know really wanted the trench coat type of feel you know and um, yeah just really like a swatted out you know uh, you know tactical looking Punisher which came out really good um, lots of kick bashing on this figure just popped off the original arms and put on the Thunderbolts uh, arms on here uh, and yeah it looks a lot better you know has the trench coat arms and stuff the sleeves you know so it can match with the actual trench coat obviously this trench coat came with the uh, thunderbolts as well and obviously i went over the head where it came from it came from the series four and this teeth part came from the series four as well and um yeah uh the holster came from the uh the thunderbolts as well and um yeah the boots the the bottom part of the boots like the feet part came from uh the electro so yeah swap those out because the original boots that came on this figure looked really goofy and they didn't look 
well proportioned like these do and yeah the other ones just looked really stupid to be honest and they were like really big feet and it looked funny so yeah swap those out and um yeah just a lot of kick bashing on this guy and yeah just gonna get a closer um you know look of this guy for you guys and um yeah he just looks really sick the head sculpt looks so much better than uh the other one here i'll show you guys uh the other one it looks kind of dumb to be honest no detail at all which looks really bland in my opinion and yeah this guy just looks so much better um yeah like i said it just sits there it's really wobbly i really need to learn how to put on uh you know the head sculpts on on figures better than my customs but yeah really cool um the chest looks really nice as well like i said this is like the main difference that i did on this one compared to the other one changed the eyes uh the original ones had spider-man looking eyes and this one i gave it more of a classic looking um type of eyes and stuff like the oval ones and stuff so yeah added like some gray you know make some make some great uh dry brushing in there with the white and right here also on the on the teeth part so yeah it looks really cool i don't know if i mentioned this but yeah i super glued it on here the teeth part and super glued the whole ab crunch so it's not there because it would keep you know making this come off but um yeah it's whatever i i i uh i lost that articulation on the figure but it's all good to be honest um so yeah looking really cool and yeah just giving you guys a better look at this guy so the boots look really cool kind of give them a little bit of a dry brush i don't know if you guys can tell it's kind of very subtle it's kind of like a purplish type of dry brush i don't know it's kind of weird but yeah it's still in there so yeah it looks really cool the knee pads look really cool as well so yeah on the belt part on the original figure well this is the original belt but kind of had like a little strap piece around it i don't know it looked kind of weird so yeah cut that off and um yeah overall he's just looking so badass trench coats look cool loads of detail on the trench coat the sculpt and stuff and yeah overall really enjoyed the way uh, this punisher figure came out and yeah he's looking quite awesome all right you guys here's a little quick side by side comparison with my custom deadpool and my custom deathstroke so yeah they're looking really cool um you know uh punisher's just a little bit taller than the rest but still really good nothing you know too major but um yeah uh you guys can kind of see there's already paint chipping on this guy on his leg it's been kind of annoying lately because it doesn't grip on this part right here but yeah gotta touch that up soon but yeah my um deathstroke's still looking badass i really love this guy a lot and my Deadpool, um, you know, just added this um, this shield to him, uh, painted this the other day. And, um, yeah, you guys can kind of see the star on there. This is a cap shield. And, um, yeah, just wanted to do that, you know, thing. Really inspired by Shardimus Prime, the way he, um, he has the um, big-time let down Spider-Man, you know, with his um, shield. So, yeah, I thought I'd put my twist to it. You know, I have uh, Deadpool's logo on there. So, yeah, this came out pretty cool. But, um, yeah, enough of that. Um, really uh, love uh, making uh, customs man and um, yeah I'm only getting better and um, yeah really enjoyed making this guy uh, and improving him and um, yeah it just looks overall badass and yeah Punisher is one of my favorite uh, superheroes of all time and um, yeah um, ho hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and this is Danny Leos signing off Big burrito, oh my gosh, yes. I prefer chimichangas, but this will do. Oh, oh, oh.